Well, I'd like to thank everybody for coming this morning. And, you know, last night about... <laughs> last night about, you know, 10 o'clock, I was a little worried about what the weather was going to do. But we have a beautiful day for a groundbreaking ceremony. And I'm just really pleased to see everyone here. And I'm really pleased to be a part of this. Um, I'll have some remarks a little later. So without further ado, now I'm going to introduce our venerable Mayor Coleman, Chris Coleman. It's an uh, absolutely gorgeous day on Rice Street. Perfect weather, the sun's smiling on you. Uh, Kirsten told me that she was going to announce at the end of the press conference that she was going to run for mayor. Um, <laughs> after last, I wish she would have done it before the budget address, then I wouldn't have had to have dealt with that. Uh, congratulations to everyone that's been involved in this project. This is really, when you think about this building, uh, its history and its future, there's a lot to be said. Uh, it's been a great kind of era of rebuilding on Rice Street from J&J &J distributing and the renovations at their facility. Uh, not too long ago, we were celebrating Hammernick's new, uh, new uh, frontage on, uh, down the street a little bit. Uh, Rice Street is rebuilding. We're across the street from new housing that's been put in recently. Uh, there's been a lot, of, a lot of folks that have been engaged in this to really restore this incredibly important corridor. Think about this corridor as it was uh, many years ago when the, when the uh, streetcars were running up it, where it was kind of the center of a lot of commercial activity. It anchored a really strong neighborhood uh, in the city of St. Paul, and it's going to do that again, and it's starting to really take shape as we move forward. I'm very excited about this. I love, I love preserving old buildings. I love tearing down buildings that need to be torn down, and I love seeing new investments. So we combine all of those great three things. Kirsten, congratulations. Uh, uh, Council, uh, Council Member Helgen, congratulations for your work on this. Commissioner Rettman, uh, I know this has probably uh, been a long-term goal of yours as well, so congratulations. For everyone that's been involved, let's keep on moving Rice Street forward. Thank you very much. Uh, this is one of those moments that is really exciting to be able to, to be uh, here and be able to witness this and participate in what I'd like to call a little creative destruction on Rice Street. Uh, this blighted uh, structure has been sitting vacant for over 30 years as we've been working on it, uh, trying to figure out different solutions, different options. Uh, but one of the things that was really important to, when Spark uh, was able to acquire the building, figure out what was underneath all of that paint and neglect and find this beautiful historic treasure, we wanted to be able to maintain that historic character along Rye Street and find the right use for it. And I think Kirsten Libby's uh, Main Street Law Office is a perfect use and exactly what this neighborhood needs. Uh, so it's really exciting that we're gonna be able to, to tear down this section, this addition here, preserve the history that is the character of Rice Street, get new vibrancy along the corridor here. Uh, and I'm just so excited that we're able to get this done. Mayor, thank you very much and the administration for all the work they did on your PD staff is outstanding. Uh, they really helped work this through to, to make it happen, so thank you to that. And again, Kirsten, thank you for sticking with the, the redevelopment process here in Rice Street and in St. Paul. Um, and it, it truly is, you're lucky it wasn't last night, you know, when the uh, storms came, but it sort of cleared out everything. It has been said, old paint on a canvas, as it ages, sometimes becomes transparent. When that happens, it is possible in some pictures to see the original lines, a tree coming through a woman's dress, a child makes way for a dog, a large boat no longer is on an open sea. It is called Pentimento because the painter repented, changed their mind. Perhaps it would be well to say that the old conception is place, replaced by a latter choice is a way of seeing and then seeing again. In some ways, this spot is being remembered today, but it is also getting a rebirth. Through the Libby Law Office Partnership, this building will not only get a fresh canvas to write on, but it will also see a new commitment to Rice Street, the neighborhood and the businesses. And the community comes alive again by Christian's vision and her determination. Just as Neba, Spark, District 6, Council Member Helgen, the City of St. Paul, the Mayor, and the County cares about this well-traveled area, 
the destinations along Rice Street becomes the place to call home. The business tapestry becomes tantamount to a, painter, a, a painting of highest value. We celebrate with you today and we are grateful that you have made the move here. We celebrate those who have always been here, from the Hammernecks to Abel Fencing to the Coffee Cup and Herb's Hardway. We will always miss Tom Hubert, the Flower Hut, and Sally Roffer's sparkling dynamics. We delight that the chicken recipe has returned to Tin Cups, and Doc Sheehan is right across the street to fix your tooth. But now we have Libby's Law Office, and, and I think that that's a good thing because it will anchor and give to this neighborhood yet another place to call home. It's a good day for Rice Street, it's a good day for the neighborhood, and we're glad to have you home. Good morning. My name is Bridget O'Malley. I'm with Ryling Construction. First of all, I'd like to thank everyone for coming out here today. This is awesome. We're really excited for this commercial construction remodel for Kirsten and the law office. Ryling has been a St. Paul company since 1953. We certainly know how important it is to have vital businesses within the city. And I'd like to thank Spark and the city of St. Paul for attracting such a wonderful business owner like Kirsten. Thank you. I have to do a ditto. Uh, I'm Mike Remmers from Capital Bank right up the street. Today is a good day. Uh, on behalf of Capital Bank, on behalf of the North End Business Association, Spark, the city of St. Paul, the North End uh, uh, community wants to congratulate Kirsten for this project and welcome you to the lower end of Rice Street. I think um, this is a good example of, you know, private money, a local community bank, the city of St. Paul, HRA, the different uh, government agencies coming together to really unite to support an idea. And this idea is becoming a reality. It will add, I think, to the business community, to the beauty of Rice Street, and I think to the vibrancy and the vitality of the business community. So we are proud to be a part of this project. And again, welcome to the lower end of Rice Street and congratulations. And on behalf of the uh, board of directors of Spark and all of its staff, this is a great day to be here today. Uh, I've been a board member of Spark since 1994 and every day I get up and I have an opportunity to come to a day, an event like this, uh, when it's been related to Spark, always gives me tingles and, and, and shivers. Uh, and thinking about shivers, it was only a few years ago, we were out across the street over here on a very, very, very frigid winter afternoon for a, uh, the groundbreaking of the Winnipeg. Fortunately, we now have a very sunny day for another new building that's gonna be renovated along Rice Street. Uh, it, it is a, uh, it's a true collaboration, and, uh, and I'm glad Capital Bank is here because I was gonna reference you uh, between the, 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 the financing for Capital Bank, the City of St. Paul, and, 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 and Spark be able to put this together uh, as, as part of the collaboration, but the real collaboration and the real components of this are certainly Council Member Lee Haugen, who worked tirelessly to make this come together, okay? And really the personal investment of, of Kirsten to, on to Rice Street, her money, her investment, her time, and her future on this street. It's, it's just a pleasure to see this come together, and, and I, again, thank you all for coming today. You know, I'm 29 years old, and I didn't realize people could say such nice things about me. So I, I thank you. I thank all of you from the, from the bottom of my heart. Um, you know, I have an hour and a half of prepared remarks, so, you know, just sit tight and kidding, kidding. Uh, I've lived in St. Paul for 25 years, and my first house that I bought here was on Western Avenue, just kitty corner from Camp's Market. And, um, yeah, from there I've lived in a couple different places in the city, and I've worked in a couple different places in the city, but I've always been in St. Paul. And about 10 years ago already, I started practicing law um, down, way down Rice Street um, in Maplewood. And I was a member, I joined the North End Business Association and we had a lot of clients from the North End, both businesses and, um, and um, regular folk. And through the years, it really, it really um, infirmed in me 
you know, what the, what the people of Rice Street and the North End are like. The people who work here every day, the people who live here every day, and there is a quality here that you cannot find anyplace else in the city. And um, I couldn't be happier to be part of the progress and the community investment um, continuing to vitalize and revitalize this commercial corridor we call Rice Street and particularly the North End. Um, I work with both um, individuals and businesses and there's some really good folk here and I'm just so happy to now come on Lower Rice Street. So obviously I can't say thank you enough to my funders, Capital Bank, Lee Helgen, the city of St. Paul. Lee um, worked, has worked on this for, for years, trying to get this to come together. Commissioner Rettman, um, District 6, it, I have all been so supportive. And it's just, it's been fun. And I would definitely be remiss if I didn't thank um, Libby Law Office employees, Gwen Bigelow, my office manager, who has listened to me fret about this every step of the way, as well as um, the attorneys in the office, uh, Chris Heinze, and John Paulson and Tony Johnson. And we all stand prepared to go through this, come down here and um, open business on Rice Street and just wait till we have the open house. Lynn Natus is gonna teach me all of the tricks for a good open house. Um, so, you know, this site consisted of vacant lots until 1890. And then in 1889, the first permit was pulled for construction on this site. And they built that building um, for an estimated cost of $5,000. So, hasn't gone up much since, but you know, you know. Um, the building was used for retail stores. I couldn't find out which, which type of retail, but it was retail stores until 1927, and in 1927 an apartment was put in on the second floor. And it's, it remains an apartment to this day, and I am in the renovation, um, renovating it for, for an apartment. Um, and a mattress factory was put in the, the first floor, from 1927 to 1964, and I believe this building was added somewhere in about 1950. I couldn't find a lot of detail on that. Um, and it was a warehouse. Um, then it was a refrigerator service from 1959 to 69, a magnet factory from 69 to 89, and then has been vacant ever since. Um, once this construction is completed, we'll move in, call it home, and you know, what I envision is a Main Street Law Office um, where we offer storefront legal services in, in, we, in the areas of business law, real estate law, estate planning, family law, bankruptcy. And my goal is really to be an integral part of, of the city, of this community. And it's been such an honor to, to work with and have the support of the city leaders, of the business leaders, of the, of the people leaders in this area, um, Spark, NEBA, Capital Bank, the mayor, planning and economic development has been wonderful. Um, District 6, Historic St. Paul has a piece of this. Um, so there really is just so much support and so much interest. Ryland Construction has been fantastic. The first time um, Tom gave me a change order, I said, no, I can't sign that. We can't sign a change order. We haven't even paid a bill yet. What are we doing signing a change order? And so he has been also educating me in, um, in the area of personal construction and deconstruction of my checkbook. But we'll get there. We'll get there. Um, Bridget's been great. Um, Joel, who's been at the site every day, has been fantastic. I promised to you know, feed him full of cookies and donuts you know, for the rest of the project. He's OK with that. Um, so. So I'm energized by this project and I really look forward to the construction and I really look forward to moving in in October. Thank you.